everybody, it's Wild Shot X coming at you with another uh, video. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. I know that uh, I usually make COD videos, but uh, this is my new favorite game, uh, Seven Days to Die. If you don't know what this game is, uh, it's basically a mix of Minecraft and uh, The Walking Dead. It's a crafting game uh, set in a zombie apocalypse that every seven days there's something called a blood moon. At, n at night, the zombies are faster anyway. Usually during the day, the zombies walk around, and you can get away from them if you really want to. But every seven days, there's a blood moon, and then a horde of zombies come through to kill your ass. And I've been through a few of them so far, and have survived uh, most of them. So basically, you just sit in a room and cower and hope that they don't find you or kill you. Anyway, this is a crafting game, and it's all about gathering resources and... Uh, finding stuff and looting and all that stuff and one of the main things you need uh, to move up in the game is a forge so you need to have a forge to build higher level items so let's take a look at that right now um, so I can build an anvil brass so I can do brick concrete I can uh, make broken glass if I wanted I don't know why I would want to do that business glass blocks uh, glass clay blocks, clay roofs, a cooking grill, cooking pots. I, I, I need a forge to build all of this stuff. One of the big things that I do need though is forged iron. To make a forge you need a few things, the least of which is clay. Clay was actually uh, really hard to come by. Uh, you have to dig it up out of the ground and I did not know where to go. Um, as you see the whole ground out here is dirt. It's all dirt. And how the hell do you find clay and all of this? The maps are really big. I haven't even been through the whole thing yet. I'll show you the map real quick. So here's the map. And so here's this big area. And I've not even been through all of it. There's the map. That I've, the parts that I've been through. If you want to build a forge somewhere and all of this expands, do you find it? So if you look here at the map, it's actually really uh, easy once you know how. See all these little white spots on the map? These are all clay deposits. So there's actually one right across the street from me. Uh, that's where I gathered up all my clay. I went right out there and uh, dug up all the clay that I needed. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, that's, what, that's how you find clay. Take a look at your map and look for the white spots on the map. And those are clay. I did this because uh, I started this game with the intent of not looking at any tutorial videos, not doing anything, um, uh, you know, any kind of research. I'm just trying to play it straight up, and uh, uh, that lasted about all 20 minutes, and I couldn't find any videos on how to find clay, so I decided to make one. So there's that. So after I found the clay, I was able to build, and they don't just need clay to build a forge. Uh, you actually need a lot more to do that. Let me see if I can show you guys real quick what else you need to build a forge. So you, so you need clay, you need small stone, you need a bellows, which was the hardest thing really to build. And then you need short iron pipes. To build a bellows, you need uh, 20 animal skins. Um, that was the hard part, because at the time I didn't have anything to kill an animal with. There were lots of animals running around, but I could not kill one <laughs> to save my life. Okay, so the other part of that is um, to actually use the forge once you have it, you need an anvil. And how do you get an anvil? Uh, well, to build an anvil, you need 200 pieces of iron. 200 pieces of iron. And in this world that I'm in right now, in this biome, uh, you can basically find iron, you know, onesies and twosies. If you have a wrench, you can take apart a car and get more iron that way, but the wrenches do not last very long, and if you don't have the book that lets you repair them, they wear out really quickly. So that's my problem right now. I don't have a, the book that lets me repair uh, my wrenches, so I'm having to raid all these houses around me to find more wrenches. Don't even worry about building the forge until you have at least 200 pieces of iron. Uh, so that you can actually use the forge once you've built it. 
Uh, that's what that's the uh, dilemma I'm in. Just wanted to put that out there for you guys. Uh, really, don't waste your time building a forge until you've got all this iron together. Otherwise, you you're going to be like me. I now have a forge that I can't use after all this effort that I put in to build one. <laughs> uh, now, the next video I'll make uh, will be on my third, fourth. Yeah, it'll be on my fourth uh, blood moon uh, that I'm going to go through because, uh, let me just tell you, the last blood moon, the zombies destroyed my house. Let me take a look here and see if I can show you guys real quick. See, so, see there's no door. I still haven't built the door back. See these wooden spikes? Well, I had three rows of wooden spikes all around the house. And you can see the zombies pretty much concentrated on this part of the house right here. Oh, there's still parts I need to fix. Fix that real quick. Okay, I need to put a wooden block there. Let's see. There we go. There we go. So seal this wood in the side of the house. Yeah, that wasn't there before the uh, horde came through. All of this down here was stone. The zombies completely destroyed all of that and all of this wood up here had to be replaced. Oh yeah. So, that's all this. You know, these, there were three rows with this. Now there's one and a half. Oh, there's two. There's a zombie coming at me. Oh, okay, we're good. Three rows of spikes. All these spikes are gone. All these spikes are gone. And all these spikes. These spikes are still here. It looks like they didn't even come on this side. These, pl these sp spots of uh, wood right here are from other blood moons that have gone through and had to uh, replace stone. So yeah, all these three rows of spikes didn't help. <laughs> Zombies didn't even come this way. They uh, in, you know, got through here and immediately started destroying my house. Uh, if the next blood moon is any worse, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Can they destroy the house while I'm in it? Um, I don't know. That's what we're going to find out. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to make a video. But the next video will be about that one. Like I said, I know I usually make COD videos, but I really, really love this game. If you guys are, have the means, go out. I definitely recommend go out and pick this up. This is a really fun game. Right now I'm playing solo. Uh, so... You know, I might start playing online with anybody if I can get any better items. I don't even know how it works yet. Uh, but anyway, so Clay, look for the white spots on the map. And don't bother building a forge until you have t at least 200 pieces of iron. Alright guys, so uh, that's the video. As always, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And uh, I'll check you guys out later. Peace.